we're about halfway to Washington from uh, Bend, Oregon. Man, these are some long, barren roads, guys. We pulled off the side here to uh, to make a little bit of something for lunch. But yeah, these have been some seriously long roads through. Some of it's been hilly, but a lot of it has just been really flat all the way through here. It's been a really, really good drive. I'm just taking a quick walk around here to check the tires, make sure everything's good with the tow car. Marion's in there getting us some lunch ready. Where in the heck did those cows go, man? When we first pulled up here, there was like a whole line of cows walking in a single file down here. I have no clue where they, wait, is that them like way out there? <laughs> <laughs> they must all be over in that little pasture there. Anyways, yeah, we've gone through a couple of towns here that you have to wonder, like, where are they getting food, man? Because these towns are all broken down and abandoned, but there are a few people living there, and, like, no grocery stores. We saw an open rock shop and a closed abandoned gas station. How's it coming in here, my love? It's, we're getting there. <laughs> it takes a lot to make a PB&J sandwich. Well, PB&J is delicious, so... All right, guys, we have made it to Washington. Pasco, Washington is what this area is called. It's right next to uh, Kennewick, I think it's called. Here's our site at the KOA. It's actually a pretty nice site, very long. We got another 15 feet in front of us here if we needed it. So these are the kinds of uh, pull-through sites that I like. I hate the ones where you pull in and you're like basically hanging out the front, hanging out the back. But this is a really nice site here. We've got uh, this whole patio here, and with some KOAs, they say you get a patio and it's like the crappiest looking thing, but this is pretty awesome here. Look at this. This is actual concrete. We have a very nice table here. We got a nice grill, a nice sitting area over here, and we have a fire pit, which is actually gas, so as you can see, you would have to hook up a, a tank to it, but they do sell little like uh i don't even know how many gallons but up here in the store you can get these little tanks for like 10 bucks if you actually want to use your fire pit it's blazing hot out here so we didn't want to use it but it's nice to have that option so we're moving right along these stickers are from the last time we were here you can see we've already been to washington utah is up here but next we are actually going this time to Idaho first, and then we're going to Utah, then to Wyoming, and then one of our very last stickers, Montana. We're gonna finish out this trip in Montana before we head home. You guys just watched me put um, stickers over here, Kansas and Colorado, and this spot right here will be for Montana. And then all we will have left for, as far as being to all 50 states, will be Alaska, and Hawaii. And as I said before, those two will go right here on the front somewhere. Honestly, I don't know if we're gonna be taking the RV to Alaska. We definitely won't be taking it to Hawaii. I would like to take it to Alaska, so maybe we will. But if we end up like flying there or something, we'll still put the sticker on. Anyways, guys, that's it for this episode. Stick around, we still have more episodes to go because we still have more states to hit. We just left Washington, we're back in Oregon, and we're on our way to Idaho. Mm -hmm.